Hey, this is Josh with WSO Testers, and I'm going to show you one of the ways that we use to find some profitable keywords for our niche sites. All right, so first of all, I'm going to start off with Longtail Pro. I create my first campaign. I'll just call it one for now, and now I'm going to enter in some seed keywords, okay? In order to find the seed keywords, I like to go to ebay.com. I go to all categories and then I scroll down and I click on see item counts. Okay. Now from here, I just click on pretty much any one of these categories. So let's just do architectural and garden. And then I can pretty much scroll through this list of items and then put them into Longtail Pro or, or at least part of the keywords that I find here. So in this case, I'll put antique industrial cast. I'll paste it here and then I click add. Okay. Copy hat hooks maybe. Click add. Now what I'm looking for is just anything that might give me an idea of uh, for keywords. So it could really just be anything here. Let's do ceramic toothbrush holder. Actually, let's just let's just do toothbrush holder. That might be better. So toothbrush holder. Okay. And let's do soap dish, okay. After I have five keywords here, then I will do select match type and I'll put that on exact. For fetch additional data, I check the domain availability right here and I click on .com, .net, and .org. For average local searches, I put it to a thousand, and for average CPC, I actually put that at 0.7. And I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna uncheck this has available domain. Generate keywords. If you're not logged in, then go ahead and log in, and then just go ahead and let this search for a few minutes. So I pause the video and let it complete. And this is what it looks like after it's finished searching those keywords. Um, as you can see, it filtered out the cost per click to be at least that 70 cents. And the local searches are at least a thousand. So now we have a good list of keywords that meet that criteria. Next, um, one thing I do is I filter it by advertiser competition. So I want the highest amount of advertiser competition to be at the top. I won't even look at the sites if the competition is below um, like 70 right here. So this I won't even look at because it starts to get too low for me. Okay. Now keep in mind that advertiser competition is different than the competition for ranking that keyword. Uh, what advertisement advertiser competition is is when is the competition of the advertisers bidding on that particular keyword. So when advertiser competition is high, that means that you get a lot of related AdSense um, ads. So if I go to Google right here, and I were to type in a keyword like jobs, right here we see a ton of advertisements up here and on the side. That's an example of advertiser competition being high. Now, if the advertiser competition was low, um, typically you won't see any ads up here. So once again, that is different from the competition for ranking that specific niche. So from here, I'll just start clicking on some of these keywords and checking out the competition. Basically, what I'm looking for is I want 
the first thing I look for is this page rank here. I want to see at least two page rank zeros or no page ranks. Right here we have all high page ranks. So um, we're not going to look at this site. So let's go to the next one. Same thing, it looks like all high PRs. So I'm just going to quickly go back, go to the next one. Okay, so this is a no PR. There's one no PR here, but I still want at least two or three of them. So I'm going to keep going back, go to the next one. Okay, that one's t still too tough. So I pretty much will just go through the list of these keywords. I'll pretty much check most of them. And if I find a enough no PRs, so this might be a good one right here. I'm going to let that load. It seems to be stalling a little bit. So now this page is loaded, and we're just going to take a quick look at the page ranks first. So right here is a good sign. We see no PR, no PR, another no PR, no PR, no PR. So that's five times that this appears, which is, for me, really, I only care to see it appear maybe three times. And then I start to say, oh, this might be a really good keyword. In this case, it, it appears five times. So that's a really good sign. Uh, next thing I look at, since this page rank falls into place, is I'll look at this SEO Moz page links. Okay, and typically I like to see SEO Moz page links of under ten. Right here we can see a bunch of them that are under ten. Not only that, a thing that I really like to see is this no PR followed by no backlinks. Okay, no PR, no no backlinks, no PR, no backlinks. Here's a no PR and less than 10 backlinks, okay? No, uh, zero page rank, zero backlinks. So that's all really good. Next thing I'll take a look at if these two things fall into place is I'll look at right here, the description and the keywords. This tells me if the page itself is actually optimized for your keyword, okay? And so typically, I want to see a lot of red here. I want to see that those particular sites are not being optimized for the keyword, like right here. Um, at the same time, I don't want to see green. So right here, green, green, that means that this uh, site is going for that keyword and they're optimized well for it, okay? Next, let's look at the title. And for the title, I want to see the exact match, which is decorative hooks. I want it to appear five or less times. The less, the better, okay? So right here I see decorative hooks is right here. One, two, three, four, five. So in this case it has five, so that meets the criteria of five or less. Um, a few more things. What I like to see is this right here. This is called a sniper site because it has the exact match keyword in the domain name. Um, this is a good thing to look for because when you see a sniper site, it really allows you to gauge the competition. And what you want to see, the best case scenario is to see a sniper site to see and to see that the page rank is zero and zero. And, and also to see that sniper site ranking high in this list. If you see that anywhere, then a lot of times that is an open niche. Like it's an open keyword for you to go for. Um, in this case, we see the site with the exact match domain, but the page rank is actually a PR1, and we actually see quite a bit of backlinks. So immediately, just on that alone, would tell me that this might be a little bit tougher of a keyword to rank for. Sure, you can still rank for it if you work a little bit harder, but it's not going to be one of those keywords where you just build a domain 
and write some content and without ever throwing backlinks you're ranked right away with you know a single article which I have several sites that have done that and with all those sites I can tell you that I saw that scenario where we had a sniper site we had a PR zero and we had an SEO mod page links of zero and it was ranked very high in this search engine so here's a recap of what we want to see on this competition page right here I took a screenshot and put some highlights on there so first of all the first thing that we're gonna look at is right here on the page rank we like to see the low page rank and I said earlier that we want to see more than two PR zeros or no PR and then we look into the backlinks area the SEO Moz page links and we want to see two or more SEO Moz links that are less than 10 that means they show less than 10 backlinks in this particular column next we look at this column right here and we want to see that uh, a lot of this red right here which means that the keyword is not in the, in the description and meta tags very often okay and then we also want to see the keyword shows up or the exact match keyword shows up in five or less titles and then lastly another good thing that we check for is it's always good to see sniper sites that are ranked high on this um, on this competition page.